I will be trading whatever I find. And hopefully... Wait, is that a fruit right there? Oh, no. It's a spin fruit. Well, my goal is to get the leopard fruit by trading whatever I find. And with this luck, it's already looking pretty impossible. But let's try to search for a trade for this. Please, please trade me something. I can't even trade for the chop fruit? Bro, we need another fruit. This is literally impossible. Okay, so turns out spin can't even be traded to anything because of the 40% difference. So I needed to get another fruit. Oh, first one, first one. Oh, where's this, where's this? Oh, a flame fruit. Okay, we can finally start trading. And just after a bit of searching, I found this trade for a sand fruit. Oh my god, finally, the first trade. After that, I found a trade for the survive fruit, and I'm pretty sure this was a L trade, but I still did it anyways. And after getting the revive fruit, I traded it for a diamond fruit, which I think was a L trade again, but it still helped us get more value. And while I was trading, a fruit spawned. So let's go and get it. Okay, a fruit has spawned. Uh, 900 meters away. Oh, this is so easy with the fruit notifier. Oh, it said ice castle. Oh, I see it. It's an ice fruit. That's all right. We could definitely use this to get more trades. So let's go search for a trade. All right, I searched for a while and I found this huge W of a trade for my ice and diamond fruits. Oh, why did he, why did he add a spike fruit? Oh, oh, well, I have no clue why I did that, but that helps us a lot. And now we have the light and spike fruits. So let's go and search for a trade. All right, let's trade. Light, spike. Oh, he put Buddha. No, there's no way. There's no way. He accepted? Oh my God, this is not happening. No way. Six, five, four. No, he left. I knew that was not happening. Well, I guess let's just keep searching for a trade. After searching for a while, I found this double trade for my light fruit. So of course I did it. And now we got the magma fruit and the spike fruit. And now we need to somehow upgrade the spike fruit so we can offer something good for a legendary fruit. I searched for a whole hour and there was no way I'm gonna find any trades for the spike fruit alone. It's just not happening. So I searched for another fruit. Oh, I found it. It's the falcon fruit. I mean, that's pretty useless, but I guess it's better than spike. And now this is what our inventory looks like. Will I be able to find a good trade? I, I, I don't know, man. After searching for a while, I found this trade for my spike fruit. And now our spike fruit has been successfully upgraded. And right after that, I found this trade for my magma fruit, for its quake fruit, which was a huge W. And now we are in the legendary rarity. But this is where it gets difficult because people really love overpricing their legendary fruits. And to make it even more difficult, from this point, I will not be using the fruit notifier at all to get fruits. This is about to be painful. But anyways, I will go look for a trade for all of these fruits. But before that, I have a trade for you. You trade me the subscribe button and I will give you man face blessings so you never get a bad fruit from this guy ever again. But anyways, let's go look for a trade. All right, so I searched a lot and I couldn't find a single trade because the only real valuable fruit I have is the quake fruit, which alone isn't enough to get us a trade. So we'll have to find something like a light fruit or a magma fruit. So let's wait for a fruit to spawn. Okay, a fruit has spawned, a fruit has spawned. Where's this fruit? Oh, dude, I might just run out of time. Please don't despawn. Oh, there it is. It's a light fruit. I think that could definitely help us get some trades. So let's search. After searching for a bit, I found this pretty fair trade for my quake and light fruits. And now we have the spider fruit. After that trade, I found this trade for a phoenix fruit. So of course I accepted and now we have the phoenix fruit. And now we only have these two fruits. And uh, not exactly sure how we're gonna get trades with this, but let's just try. All right, after searching a lot, I found this trade for my phoenix fruit. Now I wasn't really sure if this was a double trade, but I still did it anyways. I'm pretty sure I took a fat L there. But now this is what our inventory looks like. And uh, let's try to get a trade with this. All right, so I searched for a really long time and this was the only good trade I got in that time. It was a W trade, but I really think we should get another fruit because these fruits just aren't gonna cut it. So we're gonna wait for a fruit to spawn. All right, a fruit has spawned, a fruit has spawned. Uh, where's this fruit? Oh my God, this is so difficult without the fruit notifier. Is it here? Maybe here? Maybe this? Time ran out. I think it despawned. Bro, you're kidding me. I waited for all that time just to fail to find the fruit. Well, I guess let's just wait for another fruit. Fruit has spawned again. Uh, where is this? Where is this? Fruit, where are you? Bro, this sucks without the fruit notifier. Come on. Please, I don't want it to despawn again. Don't despawn on me. Oh, wait, is that the venom fruit? No way. Oh my god. Oh, it's the rubber fruit. And here I thought it was the venom fruit. I mean, it looked like venom from afar, but this is good too, because now we can add this to the trade. Anyways, let's go find a trade. 
All right, I found this trade for a gravity fruit, which was hopefully a W trade because I basically traded everything I had. But now we have a mythical fruit to work with. So let's keep searching. I searched for an entire two hours and I couldn't find any trades for this mythical fruit. So I just ended up downgrading my gravity fruit. So we had more fruits to work with because just a gravity fruit wasn't gonna cut it. And right after this trade, I found this double trade for my quake fruit. And now this is what our inventory looks like. But before I go for another trade, a fruit has spawned. So let's go search for it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is so difficult without the fruit notifier. Oh, I found it. Bro, it's a kilo fruit. Well, this is going right in the ocean. Uh, I guess let's just keep searching for a trade then. Okay, so I found this trade for a falcon fruit. Not really a huge upgrade, but still something. But then I found this trade. Buddha, I don't really have anything for that. Uh, but let's try spider. He accepted. No way. No way. No way. Five, four, three, two. One! One? One? What? Did I disconnect? No, I disconnected! Did the trade go through? Alright, moment of truth. Yes! Yes! We now have the Buddha fruit. How did I even trade a spider fruit for this? Our inventory is looking golden. Now we can actually find some big trades. Alright then, let's search. Okay, after a bit of searching, I found this guy who was trading his phoenix fruit for my paw fruit, which was perfect because paw is worth less than phoenix in trading. After that, I found this trade for a venom fruit. All right, phoenix, buddha, falcon, right, that's all I have. Oh, venom. Oh, except, except, please. Yo. Five, four, three, two, one. We now have the venom fruit. This fruit is gonna take us places in trading. So let's keep searching. I found this guy or girl trading me their control and phoenix fruits for my venom fruit. This was a huge W, so I accepted. And now we have the control and phoenix fruits. And now we should be able to get better trades because control is getting reworked. So people are collecting it for the update. I have been searching for four hours and I haven't even found a single trade. So, I'm gonna collect a bunch of fruits, so we can trade it up to something better. Oh, there's a magma fruit, a rubber fruit, oh, ice fruit! And now with this, our inventory kinda looks like a mess, but I'm gonna trade these three fruits to something good. After searching for a bit, I found this man who was trading their quake and dark fruits for all my garbage fruits. So of course, I did the trade and now we have the legendary quake fruit. And now, I think we should find one more fruit. So we can trade it for a doe fruit or even a dragon fruit. All right, fruit has spawned. Let's search. Hopefully I don't run out of time again. Where's this fruit? Where's this fruit? Oh, a gravity fruit. I mean, that's not the most valuable fruit, but it's still something. All right, let's store it. And now this is what our inventory looks like. Two mythicals, two legendaries. I think we should be able to get like a doe fruit or something. I searched a lot and I couldn't be more wrong. And turns out, dough is actually worth way more than I thought. And right now, with the fruits we have, I can only trade it up to a shadow fruit. Which isn't what I was looking for, but let's just search for this. After some searching, I found this guy with the shadow fruit. Oh, he put shadow. Alright, Phoenix, Quake, Gravity. Alright, please accept. Please, please, please. Let's go! Oh my god, we finally have a shadow fruit. I'm not sure how good of a trade that was, but let's just keep trading. Next up, I found this double trade for my rubber fruit. And now, this is what our inventory is looking like. And now I'll have to find another fruit, because there's no way I'm getting a dough or anything for this. So, let's wait for a fruit to spawn. Okay, fruit has spawned. Alright, let's go. Where's this? Where's this? I mean, we have plenty of time to search. Oh, uh, is it here? Mm. Oh, is, is that spirit? Oh my god. The man face blessings! With this, we can go straight for the leopard fruit. Alright, let's store this before I get disconnected. And now our inventory is looking legendary. Oh man, let's search for a trade. After searching for a while, I found this guy who had the venom fruit. But he was refusing to trade it to me. Oh man, I guess he didn't like the offer. Buddha, I, ew, boto, venino? What? Does he want Buddha? I, I think he wants Buddha, but I don't have Buddha. All right, let's see. Does anyone in the server have Buddha? Oh, oh, this guy has Buddha. All right, he put Buddha and Magma. All right, Shadow should do it. Come on, accept, accept, please. Let's go. All right, where's the guy with the Venom? Oh, here he is. All right, take the Buddha and Quake. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please accept, please accept. Oh my God, this is a huge W. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Oh my god, we actually got Venom. That has to be the biggest double of a trade I've gotten in my entire miserable life. And with this, we can easily get a leopard fruit. So let's just keep searching. Okay, so while I was searching for a leopard fruit trade, I found this trade for a quake fruit. So of course, I accepted it. And now, let's keep searching for the leopard fruit trade. Oh, this guy's trading leopard. All right, spirit, control, venom. All right, that should do. Add? I don't, I don't really have a lot to add, but quake maybe? Come on, please. It's hard to even find a guy with a leopard fruit. All right, that's all I have. That's all I have. Okay. Okay. Is that a yes? What? C? What? Bro, do I accept or what? Oh. Oh, he accepted. He accepted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, wait. Come on. Just, just let the timer go. Oh my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, finally! This challenge is over! We have finally gotten the leopard fruit! That took a total of 36 hours, but it was worth it. And now we have the leopard fruit. So if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like these ones too. So go watch them now. And subscribe for the man face blessings, and bye!